Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm actually going to be introducing a very special collaboration between Rose Inc and one of my favourite brands that recently launched. You may have heard me talk about this brand over the last couple of years in my tutorials because I'm absolutely obsessed with the products and the brand mission. So Le Bouge Rouge launched in 2017 out of Paris with a clear sustainability mission, which I really felt drawn to. So formulas, of course, are completely clean. And one of my favorite things about this brand is that it really doesn't compromise on luxury and clean formulas. The formulas are all beautiful. They all have performance to them. They're great everyday products. All of their packaging is completely refillable. It's recyclable. A lot of it uses upcycled leather. So the packaging itself actually feels like a keepsake and something really, really special to gift yourself or perhaps another. So it made absolute sense for Le Bouge Rouge and Rose Inc. to do a collaboration since our brand missions and everything that we talk about and believe in are so clearly aligned. We have done two beautiful lipsticks. This is the leather case and you can see here that it is personalized and you're able to go onto the website and personalize it with perhaps your initials or even a little uh, symbol here. I chose the heart for mine. So we decided to do a really beautiful nudie pink color your lips but a little bit better um, i'm absolutely obsessed with the, this color because it's so easy to wear and a real great daytime lip color and then of course i wanted to do a beautiful classic red color here you can see what I really wanted to do since Valentine's Day is right around the corner is to create a beautiful at home date night look since so many of us will be celebrating at home with our partners and loved ones. I'm actually gonna use the majority of Le Bouge Rouge products just because they're so beautiful and really what I've been wearing a lot of lately. I've just got out of the shower, I've prepped my skin with my skincare and done my base. So I'm gonna start with my hair and then I'm gonna go into the makeup. So I've got my hair wrapped up in this new hair towel. It's um, from a brand called Crown Affair, which is a new brand that just launched. And I'm obsessed with this hair towel. Obviously it's sort of a microfiber kind of fast absorbing hair wrap. But what I really like about it is that you can stick uh, the end of it through this elastic here. So it makes it really easy to put on and take off. I'm gonna start by rough drying my hair with my Dyson hair dryer. Okay, so now that my hair is about, I would say 90% dry, I'm going to use the Dyson Hair Wrap. The Hair Wrap comes with um, many different um, adjustable nozzles or bristles or brushes that you can click on and click off. This is my favorite one because basically it gives me a smooth sort of salon bouncy blowout. Basically, I take a couple inch sections like this I'm taking the brush underneath the hair, just smooth all the way through a couple of times. And then I like to go from the root, wrapping that section of hair right around the barrel, just sliding it all the way through, twisting it so you get that nice kind of curl at the end. And then repeat. The last thing I'm gonna do is apply a tiny little bit of hair oil. So this is the oil by Crown Affair as well. And this is really just gonna help give it real kind of vitality and shine. So I'm literally using the most tiny amount, just gently sweeping it through with your hands. Since it's winter, I'm gonna do a lovely lip scrub. I'm gonna use the Le Bouge Rouge Lip Scrub. And you can see it's just a flat top balmy texture with a little bit of scrub in there, exfoliating scrub, just to remove any dry skin. So once that's absorbed a little bit, I'm gonna take a face, face cloth. This is my face cloth from Ressore. So since my lips are so dry, I'm actually going to use the lip butter from Summer Fridays, which is wonderful. I actually keep this by my bed. And I love this because it's just super thick and hydrating and lovely to wear in the evening. I'm just gonna allow that to soak in. So since I've already done my base and concealer, I'm gonna start on my eyebrows, just brushing them up. And then I am taking the Le Bouge Rouge 
eyebrow pencil. I'm actually going to do a mix of two colors. I'm going to use the blonde and I'm going to use the brown. Just starting at the front. And I really like these pencils because just even though they're pencils, they've got a slight waxiness to them and the color is just such a good match for my eyebrows. I'm going to switch to the darker color just to go through the ends of my brow here. And now I am going to just secure them down with the Le Bouge Rouge eyebrow gel. So this is really special. Both the eyebrow gel and the mascara come in completely glass package. Here you can see, so that it is completely recyclable. And I just think it looks so beautiful. And then you can also opt to choose uh, a leather case. Really like how that eyebrow gel just gave an extra sort of kick to the color there. The next thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of an eyeshadow look. Since we're at home, I don't really wanna have a lot of makeup on, but I wanna do a little bit of a soft eye look. Um, Le Bouge Rouge have some really beautiful eye palettes. Here they are all refillable, and this is sort of a metallic case which is refillable. Um, you just use a pin to push through and then the refill pops out when you're ready to do so. But what's just so special about these is they're just something that you would keep forever. I think I'm gonna just start with the matter palette here. You can see there's some beautiful sort of taupes and grays in there. I'm gonna go into the uh, lightest taupey color here, but just sweeping this all the way across my eye. Then I'm going to take this flatter, thicker brush from Surratt and I'm going to go into milk chocolate <laughs> colour and just bring this onto the end, outer corner of my eyes, into the socket, pulling it onto the centre of my eyelid, bringing it out a little bit. I'm going to extend my eyes and then I'm going to go in with this chocolate colour here, as close to the lash line as I can get with this little round brush. I'm going to go in on the darkest sort of chocolate colour here with the fine tip of the brush. And I'm really going to try and use this like an eyeliner. You can see how that's given just a subtle definition to my eye. I'm gonna take the other palette, and these are sort of more metallic. So I'm gonna use this shade on the end. And I'm just gonna bring this in from the outer corner and then blend with a nice fluffy brush. I'm gonna go in and apply the mascara. Again, it comes in glass packaging with a leather case. And I've been really impressed by this mascara because it's quite hard to find a truly clean mascara that is going to still lift and lengthen your lashes whilst keeping your lashes really soft and full and stay put all day. And it really does do that. Okay, so it's time for my favorite part. I'm using the Le Bouge Rouge bronzer. I'm using one of the Le Bouge Rouge brushes which are really beautiful and wooden handled. And I'm just going to start at the top of my cheekbone, carving in that definition and warmth. What I always like to do is take a little bit of that bronzer and just pop it into the brow bone. And again, that will soften any edges or harsh lines that you might have. And now I'm going to, I haven't used this yet. I've been dreaming to use it, but I suppose this is either a blush palette or an eyeshadow palette it could be either it's got a lot of um, iridescent in there so you can really see how uh, just pearlescent and luminous this is going to make your skin look again in the refillable packaging I'm going to use the same brush that I use for my bronzer and I'm just going to swipe through all the colors oh wow that's just adding such a nice glow and luminosity warmth to the skin I'm going to start with the Topia Nuda colour because I think it will be easier to remove. I'm going to put both colours on and you can see how beautifully they both will work with a soft, smoky eye look. I'm actually going to line my lips. I'm using the Le Bouge Rouge Nude Bron. And since this is a nude lip liner, I don't need to be too precise about it. It's really just adding 
a little of definition to my mouth. So these lipsticks feel so weightless and beautiful on the mouth. And I think that's down to some of the beautiful ingredients they have in them. They have jojoba oil in them, which is really going to help hydrate and smooth the lips out. And some of the other ingredients in these are shea butter and vitamin E. So all great ingredients for hydration, plumping, smoothing. And then like always, I like to just push the lip. I love this sort of rose color and it's kind of got those mauve, mauve tones in it. So it's really classic, but at the same time, of modern and beautiful as well and I think it pairs really nicely with the cool browns that I did in my eye. This is called La Nude Rosie and that is my first date night look. Okay so I'm just going to remove it. I'm using a reusable cotton pad here with a little bit of Bioderma. So I actually just want to show you how these are refillable and how they come. The refill comes in this beautiful cardboard case like this. So you just pop it open and then with the leather case in the bottom of one of the sides is this kind of little shape at the bottom kind of like a bolt shape and simply you just click in the lipstick that's it you hear it snap and there you have it so all of the leather for these cases is made by is handmade by artisans in france um, it is all upcycled leather and um, you can choose if you want to inscribe it with an initial and you can now even do a little heart, which I think just adds that touch of personalization. So of course, if you wanna give yourself a gift this Valentine's Day or anybody else, it really, really is a special heirloom. Every time I bring this lipstick out of my bag in front of friends, they always comment on how special it is. And I just feel really, really proud. I feel like it's one of the chicest things that I own actually. So this is the red, a very classic red, beautiful for the evening, also beautiful for the daytime. And I'm just gonna apply. And you can see how it has a lovely matte finish. And I'm just gonna clean up the edges with a little lip liner. Sometimes with red lips, it's quite nice to just sort of pout your lips, kissy lips, and just make sure that You've got the lipstick on the underside of your lip, or at least for me anyway. I'm going to throw on an earring, and I've been told that I need to start telling you all where I get my earrings from, since I get so many questions about them in the comments. So I will, except for this time, rather frustratingly, these are a pair of vintage earrings that my lovely mum, who's worked in jewellery her entire adult life, when I was growing up and she's like a magpie, she loves jewelry and now she has a little stall in the local market where she sells kind of antique vintage finds and she gave me these for Christmas and I absolutely love them. Even though we've done this collaboration in time for Valentine's Day, I really do think these are colors that will work all year round with anything that you're wearing, any makeup look that you might do. They're truly classic, easy to wear colors. Okay, everybody, so thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure to do this makeup look with you. Have a great Valentine's Day. Enjoy date night if you haven't already killed one another <laughs> since being in quarantine. Take care and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. Bye.